I'm also curious about Argentina. As I understand things, there was a point in the past when you looked at Argentina, but, but decided no, politics were obviously pretty chaotic for quite a long time in Argentina, and the economy was incredibly unstable. Has President Millet done enough to make you take another look at Argentina? Yes, I mean, we are taking a look at Argentina. I mean, I think it's impossible to ignore what he's doing and, and, and the flip turnaround. Uh, of, of Argentina is, is doing. I think it's still early to be able to make a decision yet because we'll see. You probably need to figure out what's happening over the next 12, 24 months. But I think the speed at which the situation in Argentina is changing has uh, impressed absolutely everybody. And uh, it is one of the largest GDP economies in Latin America. It has uh, one of the highest uh, human capital levels in Latin America, some of the best universities, phenomenal uh, people, engineers, and it's an economy that also doesn't really have credit. When you look at Argentinian banks, how do they make money? They're still making money effectively, grabbing money from consumers at zero and buying government bonds. There is no credit market. There is no consumer credit. So it is in, in a, in a well-performing economy, you would imagine that that entire market needs to exist at some point. And so we are we're definitely curious to see what's going to happen there. He's the change agent that Argentina needed. We really hope so, yeah. I mean, I think everybody in Latin America is rooting for him to be successful.